Hello, my name is Diane and I work at the Pikesville branch of Baltimore County Public Library. Thank you for joining me today for a STEAM Powered Friday program. Today's project, we will be engineering a cranky jumper. What's that you ask? Let me show you. So here is our crank and here is our jumper. We will be engineering a, a jump rope toy. Let's get started. First, we will need something for our base I'm using a piece of any cardboard box. You will need a couple of tubes. If you don't have any cardboard tubes around, you can use some cardstock or heavy paper, roll it up and tape it together. We will need something for our jumper. You can use a small cardboard tube. You can use a little box that you tape the ends up. You will need a straw for arms. You will need some wire for the jump rope. I'm going to be using some jewelry wire that I had around the house. If you don't have jewelry wire, which you likely do not, you could also use a wire hanger or anything else that's, again, a heavy wire that you're going to use. Now, kids, if you're doing this by yourself, you may want to grab a grown-up for this piece because you may need wire cutters to cut this, and I don't want anybody getting hurt. We will also need a pen to drill some holes, some scissors, and tape. So let's get started putting it together. We're going to start with our jumper, which I'm going to be using a cardboard tube. You're going to grab your pen and starting about an inch from the top of the tube, you're going to put a small hole to start and then just keep pushing through, twisting the pen back and forth until it goes through the wall of the tube. Then go straight across to the other side and put a hole so the pen goes all the way through. Take that out, take your straw, put the end through. Now we're gonna cut it off, leaving about an inch on each side. Now to make sure that our arms don't move too much, I'm gonna grab a small piece of tape and tape this to secure the arms on each side. Okay, now we're going to need to create some legs or feet for your jumper. You can use some chenille stems, we used to call pipe cleaners. You could use some wire, you can use anything that you have around the house. Since I have a little leftover straw, I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to cut two equal pieces. On the ends here. And then we're going to tape them to the bottom to give our jumper some legs. There's one. And there's the other. Okay, now you're probably gonna to wanna to decorate this a bit more, add a head, face, maybe hat, hair, clothes, whatever you wanna do. But this is the only parts we need to do right now to make it functional. So I'm going to skip the decorating part and leave that up to you. So let's figure out the next step. So you want to take your base and take your tube and what you're going to do is stand this up next to it and you want to mark about an inch or so higher than where the arms hit. So that's where it is on my tube. Then take your pen and put a small hole in that location. We're not going to put the tube all the way through because this is just for our wire. You're going to do this around the other side as well until you have two holes on each side. You're gonna do the same thing with the other tube. And then you're gonna tape the tube to the base. To skip, make this go a little faster, I've already done that step. We're gonna use a lot of tape around this base. So make sure it's secure. You do not want this wobbling or else your jumper will not work. You are now going to take your wire. You want to cut a piece, then allow about two inches or so on this side for our crank. Then you're gonna loop a bit more for your rope and then a couple more inches over here. Tip here, make sure you make it a little bit longer in case you cut it a little shorter than you were, it's a little shorter than you expected. Remember when you're doing this, you can always cut off some extra pieces. Once you cut it though, you can't make it longer. So let's make a cut here. We are then going to insert 
our wire through the holes that we created in our tubes. There we go. You're going to bend this down and then move the wire up there and this is going to create our crank. We're then going to bend part for our jump rope and then bend up the next part to connect to our other tube. And then shoot this straight across. Yeah, this could take a few moments sometimes. There we go. Okay, you're now gonna bend this side so it doesn't slip out. And then you're going to use more tape to tape it to your base. Give me one moment to put some tape on here really fast. Again, you cannot use too much tape for doing this. Again, you don't want it wobbling all over the place. Okay. Okay, you're going to bend this to make sure your jump rope doesn't hit the bottom. And that is your jump rope part. Now, how do you connect your jumper? Set that aside. We're going to need another piece of wire for a jumper. I'm taking some more wire here. And you're going to put the end of the wire through the tube. You're going to want about two inches or so on each side of the tube, beyond the tube. Okay. I'll cut this off. Okay. Now you're going to want to bend the ends of the, the wire up into a loop. So we're bending it up this direction. We're doing the same on both sides. You don't want to make a tight loop. You want to leave it very big so that it moves easily around the jump rope. Bend the wires down so that the arms go down. And then you're going to connect this to the jump rope. When you're doing this, make sure your wires are going in the same direction. So if you're going front to back, that's fine. Or back to front, it doesn't matter. Just make sure both arms are going in the same direction. And you'll notice he's sliding right off. That's to be expected. What we're going to do is add a little piece of tape around the jump rope here that will keep the arms from sliding down. There we go. And that's all it takes. You'll see that he jumps there. So let me show you some completed examples. Okay. So this one I created using a wire hanger. You'll see that it the wire is very sturdy, so it does a nice job off that. You can go forward or backward. On this one, I added a chenille stem around the jump rope. It makes it brighter. It also is useful to keeping the arms from sliding down. And again, she jumps just fine. So that's all there is to our project today. Thank you very much for, jo for joining me for today's steam powered program. If you want ideas on other projects or want to see other videos, please go to our website, bcpl.info. You can also connect to our Facebook and YouTube channels from there. Thanks again for joining me. Bye.